Hey everyone, welcome back to the Schematica channel. Ben Jordan here with another really quick tip on Altium Designer. Um, and please remember to like, subscribe, comment, ask me questions for future videos, whatever you need. I'm in a bomb dock here and I don't know about you, but I like to use generic components. I like to have my standard resistors, my standard caps, my standard, all the popcorn stuff. Why? Because I know what, I, I trust my symbols and footprints, okay? Um, not, nothing against having one part per manufacturer or part number. Uh, of course, you have to do that for a lot of things, but it causes a bit of an issue in Altium's bill of materials editor in the, in the active bomb. So I'm in a bomb dock here and you can see because all my resistors are the same 0402 popcorn resistor and I vary them by changing the value and then later on I want to come in here and add multiple different supplier part choices to the different values. But the problem is Altium Designer is automatically grouping them all so that all the values are on one line together and I can't assign a, a part choice list or a manufacturer or a, a purchasing solution to them in my bill of materials. So what do you have to do in this case? Well, what I have, let's just bring this on screen so you can see it. I have um, taken the parameters and per, uh, the, the value parameter side by side with the designator of each of the generic resistors on my from my schematic. And you can do that I won't show you how to do that in this video, but you can do that using either parameter manager or the list panel, depending on how you've set things up. And so I've grouped them by value. So I know R11, R13 and R8 are all 5.1K resistors in this design. And I, the reason I had to use a separate spreadsheet to do this is because there is a way to split these up in the bomb dock. It's under the right click operations menu and you can create uh, you can say split item by adding an alternatives group. But the problem is the alternatives group dialog box, as shown here, does not give you any other information about the part other than its designator or what current group it might be in. So if you want to group by value, it's not showing me any of that useful information. So I have to have that. I have to have that in this separate little spreadsheet document just as a scratch pad. I'll put that off on my other screen so I can still see it here, but um, over here. So I'm going to I'm going to start by creating a group. I'll start with the biggest group, which is all the 10 K's, you know, the typical 10 K pull ups. And our one is 10 K. Our 12 and 14. Our 10 K. I'm going in the list of what I've, what I've got in my spreadsheet here. Our three, five, six and seven are all 10 Ks. So by checking those boxes and clicking OK, I've now separated those out into a separate group in the bill of materials based on the value. And that's really critical. And I can go ahead and do the same for all my other generic popcorn components. And that will then allow me to add part choices and manufacturer solutions to be able to buy the different parts I need for each group of uh, re res reference designators that are going to be the same manufacturer part number. And this allows you to consolidate things um, in a way as well. So hope that's very helpful. Again, like, subscribe, hit the notification icon and come back for more. Please comment below and ask me questions if you would like me to cover any other uh, topics or if you have anything that's baffling you with Altium Designer or Fusion 360 Electronics or, um, you know, heck, even uh, Fusion 360 Mechanical CAD and Alibre, I, I do them all. So let me know and I'll make more videos for you. See you next time.